What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Poncho's Garage. Um, today we're gonna still work on the AC, but um, off camera I've gotten a few things done. If you guys follow my Instagram, you guys uh, know what I'm doing. But um, basically, on this unit right here, um, I redid this bracket. Um, it's a lot nicer now. I redid this bracket, that bracket, and then the bracket that goes back here. I don't know how much you can see. It's basically just the U-bend bracket. But yeah, um, it basically holds this guy. It's on there pretty sturdy. And then what's nice about it, it is level. So this guy had to be level both ways actually. And um, yeah. So I got that part done. Um, also in the front, I got the condenser installed. So let me go ahead and show you that real quick. All right, so here at the front of the car, we got the AC condenser. So at the bottom part, we got these uh, brackets. Basically, I don't know if you call it an L, but it's an L and then it goes up again to hold on to here. And uh, this is where the uh, horns mount. So this is gonna go right behind the horns and then the horns go here and still be in place. And then on the top, nothing fancy, just a little triangle with a small bend. Um, I'm using the stock body mounts. So there's uh, one there, one there, and then it, they just lined up where I could put two bolts, so I, I put it on there. And then what's cool is this guy, the hose will be able to go through this hole. And on this side, I'm gonna have to run this forward and down and out on that side. But yeah, basically the plan for today is uh, mocking up the hoses. Um, since I got all the major components, the AC condenser, AC compressor, the dryer, and the unit itself. Um, they're all where they should be. So I'm gonna put fittings on them and the hoses that go to connect each other. And then, yeah. Oh, I also have to install the bulkhead fitting on the firewall. So I'm gonna do that too. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that now. I'll do that, then we mock up the hoses. So let's do it. Alright, so this is where we're at on the engine bay hoses. We have a bulkhead fitting coming out from the firewall. Then we have a size 10 and a size 6, I want to say. A size 10 up top, 6 right here. The 6 goes from there to the dryer, the receiver dryer. Then from the receiver dryer to the condenser. Uh, to the bottom side of the condenser. The top side of the condenser, you have your uh, your size six, that goes on the compressor side over here. I did not cut this one because I don't know the exact length or how I'm gonna route this one hose in the front here. I still gotta put the grill, the horns, the wiring. Once I have that figured out, then I'm, I'm, I'm able to fin finalize this guy. But anyways, um, from there, it goes to the compressor. And then we have our size 10 on the compressor that goes up around through the back and then back to the bulkhead fitting. Um, this guy I still gotta play with a little bit too. I gotta make sure it doesn't get anywhere near this guy. Uh, see if I can tie it down over here. And then also, one thing, I don't know if you guys noticed, so I have the high side uh, plug right there. I need the low side plug on this hose, on the 10. Um, I couldn't use any of the ones that the kit came with so I'm using an inline one, so basically I'm gonna snip somewhere here and have the fitting here, so whenever I charge my AC, I'm gonna have to hang the little thing from the hood, then one hose to that side, one hose to this side. 
it's a little unconventional, but <laughs> the people at uh, Vintage Air said I can do that um, due to space uh, constraints. But yeah, so that's all in there. And then the only thing left to do is on the inside, let me show you. All right, so this is the back side of the car. So you see the two fittings coming out of there. Uh, those guys are gonna plug into these two right here. So this one and this one. Um, I'm currently out of the correct fittings I'm gonna need to get that to connect with that. With very small hoses. But um, also, if you notice, these two copper reddish looking ones down here, those are the heater hoses. I'm gonna have to get those to come out through here up and around and then through the uh, firewall where those two grommets are uh, basically I'm gonna use the stock hoses the stock heater hoses and have them come in through there once they're there I'll probably use some sort of adapter or something to round them down here um, but yeah that's pretty much the gist of it running the hoses uh, it's pretty simple uh, too bad I didn't have all the fittings otherwise I'd get that done but um, yeah that's, that's, that's almost there um, the brackets to mount this guy under the dash, not very difficult to do, uh, not very expensive. These are all just uh, eighth inch steel, one and a half inch wide, and I think about the three footer. And with one of those, you're able to make that bracket, that bracket, and then there's a U-shaped bracket in the back to hold it from the back. And it's pretty sturdy, it ain't going nowhere. And it uses all the uh, stock mounting locations, which I liked. Um, but yeah, I'm actually curious, um, of the people that watch this, these type of videos, are you guys going to install AC? And if so, uh, actually I want you guys to leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of car your, what kind of Z do you have, what year? And then, uh, also let me know if you're planning on using this kind of, uh, unit, the Vintage Air or something else. I'm just curious, um... If possible, I, I might even, uh, <laughs> I mean, these, these brackets I made, they're pretty easy to copy. I don't know if someone like Skillard would want to make these and sell them as a kit. It, it's really, it's, I mean, you can make them at home, but if they sold a kit for pretty cheap, why not? It would make it easier. But anyways, leave in the comments below if you guys are thinking of putting AC, let me know what kind of Z you're going to put it and what kind of uh, unit you're thinking of. But um, yeah. I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.